just set for a new trip. Today it's gonna be very impressive, the rain just stopped, so I'll be heading to Italy, then I'll be heading to Austria, I'll uh, go to some mountain passes in the Alps, and for that I have the perfect bike with me, the new BMW R250 RS. Why do I say new? Because it has some big changes for 2019 and today it's going to be my ride and I'm going to test it. I'm going to do a two-row test to the mountainside and uh, I'm going to see what's the most important uh, changes and how they react on road. Can't wait to do it. I just finished my coffee. Things are looking good. Let's go! What a beautiful scenery over here, we made a quick stop, we were in Timoljok, uh, riding the bikes and I have the right guy to speak about the new RS with me, it's Ralph, it's an expert in, uh, in BMW, the R version, uh, 1250R and RS, so hello Ralph, please tell me what's new for 2019. Okay, besides the engine, there are different other things we included to the new model. Uh, for example, we had a new fearing on the bike uh, with a new LED. Lightning in the front with a new uh, kind of uh, uh, daylight in for get better recognized, uh, for example, and uh, had, uh, better seeing as well. And we also got new f functions on our electronic. Uh, preload adjustment is very nice, for example, for the customer because uh, they are able now, uh, or in the history, he had always about the load. Okay. To change the preload so manual now, now, now you have automatic mode. Yes, more it's it uh, is automatic. You only have to start the engine and the bike go on the it right position. Yes, and on the other side you can change the driving modes, and uh, there are different settings for the throttle response. Throttle. Perfect, thank you. And on the other side for the DCC for uh, uh, dynamic traction control for also uh, settings so in in combination of the things you can the bike go slow easy relaxing but if you go in the right settings you go fast active and ca go really fast and sporty with the bike the combination gets wider and we have uh, do a lot of things to uh, possibly uh, to make it possible for the customer uh, on the other side, we did made, for example, hill start control. So it's you put it as an option or it an as an option? Yes. No, not from factory, but he can push the brake harder, and then the bike get uh, standing without any more braking. And if you go, if you will start again, only clutch and drive. So what else? What else do we have? We, we have, have the note dashboard. Our dashboard TFT. TFT. It's already recognized from our GS, and we have have now it in the R and RS as well, in all models now, uh, not all RT, not so far, but we have it in our RS, R, GS and GSA. Uh, you have uh, uh, a simple navigation on board, you have uh, media, playing, <laughs> connectivity, you can phone. Yes. I can't wait to ride it some more today and tomorrow. Yes. Thank you very much for this interview. It was very interesting what you've told me. Um, and we have some more riding to do, some more uh, sceneries to admire. Can't wait to do that. So let's go. Let's go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
cold right now. We had a long day, long trip, more than 300 miles. Everything went good. The bike reacted very well. It's my first time on the BMW R1250 RS. And uh, I must say I grow very fond of it because uh, the new engine pushes like insane. You have a lot of torque, you have a lot of power over there. Uh, there's this Akrapovic exhaust that gives you another feeling when you push it, you have a low note with a lot of bass. A lot of ground coming from this engine. So on twisties it was like uh, going on a sports bike. Actually, I think this is the whole idea about the RS because uh, it feels like a, like a sports tour. Uh, the ergonomy, it's... Uh, well put together, but I think uh, you're not, you cannot handle more than 500 kilometers a day because you kind of sit in your hands. The saddle is pretty plush. The leg room, it's enough for me. I'm a tall rider. I have a, I'm a six footer. I over 180 centimeters, but I do pretty, pretty well with, uh, with this ergonomy. You have a lot of uh, wind protection over here but the knee area is protected you get some heat from the engine and there's also this windshield that has two positions right now you can switch it up and down so this came up very useful while riding uh, on the windy pads and also on the highway most of the road was about twisties uh, flicking the bike from a leg to another and that's what uh, all about I think here in the Alps uh, the BMW 1250 RS did a very good job it's not hard to flick it although it's a big bike it's a big and heavy bike you don't need so much inputs from uh, from riding uh, to adjust the direction so everything comes in natural you only uh, close the throttle open again move with the head to the left or right and things are happening so this is a very uh, very uh, well sensation that you can get on this bike about the systems about the electronics you get the uh, traction control you get the uh, uh, the electronic suspension which is very plush actually i put it on mostly on road because uh, i've uh, entered some uh, bumpy paths so over there it feels like a sports bike while on dynamic so if you want to ride it a bit harder usually you set it up to dynamic the riding modes were very useful because you have ride by wire throttle and everything um, i think i've used it mostly on uh, rain and road because it was uh, like changing uh, seasons today i had some um, fog i have some rain uh, I even uh, saw some snow on the Alps uh, in the higher parts, so it was very impressive, very cold at some points, but the bike uh, was pretty well. For the cold part, I've used mostly the, the um, heated grips and as a comfort uh, add-on, you have also the uh, cruise control that, that comes in very helpful while riding on uh, open roads or on the highway. Uh, it's easy to set up. Everybody knows the cruise control from BMW. I think I had a minor issue, but I, I think there's only thing that disturbed me, disturbed me about this bike. It's the quick shifter that I couldn't go along with. It's it's pretty difficult to, to find your pace with the quick shifter because sometimes it works like magic, sometimes it won't work. I think it's a, it's a matter of uh, twin cylinders and a matter of getting used to the throttle because I was switching a lot uh, to the twisties, uh, third gear, fourth gear, back to the second gear. So three or four times it went everything well. Afterwards, I had some uh, problems shifting down or shifting up. So this is a thing that BMW can work on and should be changed. Other than that, you can use the clutch. There's no, there's no big deal with this. I think it's it's a very very well put together bike. Uh, it's in love with the twisties and also uh, you can adapt some optionals you have a lot of optionals for this bike you can make it as your own uh, you can uh, add up the exhaust you can add up the panniers you can add up a lot a lot of things even a, a smoked windshield so uh, everything is there from bmw in my opinion it's it's a very good package it's a it's a more than fair package so let's let's put it to a conclusion the bmw 1250 rs it's the new sports tour uh, that combines the, the the magic of a boxer engine and the power and feeling of a true sports bike so here you have it this is the new bmw r 1250 rs from a test into in, from an in-depth test in the alps uh, I did a lot of riding with it and I must say I got pretty well impressed.
I think it's the bike to have if you want to go on the open roads and do your life on the twisties. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thank <music> you.